Hello, my name is Daniel Watrous, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to integrate the Optane Crusher software for your blog with GetResponse. When you log into the Optane Crusher, let's go there now, you go first at, you know, from the dashboard when you first log into your WordPress blog, you go to Settings and click on Optane Crusher, and then scroll down to the section that says opt-in form details. And what you're going to do is we're going to go into get response, find our web form, paste it here, and then click process form to end up with the form that will actually show on our website. So in get response, you come to contacts. So of these tabs along the top, you choose contacts, and then you choose web forms. Click that. And you can either create a new web form or choose one that you already have. And after you've created the web form, you'll see an option here that says View HTML. By clicking that, you get this box that comes up. And you'll notice there are a few different options to copy and paste from. We don't want this first one, but we do want the second one, what they say is the HTML code. So when you click in this box, just select everything, and then you copy that, bring that back over to your website, paste it in here, and you'll notice there's quite a bit of junk in there, uh, a lot of code. You don't need to know what any of that means, but you'll notice when you click this process form, after a short delay, it comes back with the information that's specific to the opt-in crusher. So click update settings, and then you'll want to click up at the top here to look at your website and actually see the form scroll up. So now you'll notice that it says subscribe, name, and then email. So if you wanted to change this, so for example, you may not want it to say subscribe, you might just want it to say name and email. What you do is you come back to your opt-in crusher settings, you scroll down, and now you can look and see where it says subscribe. So here it says subscribe, and then there are several empty lines of space after that. So I'm just going to select all of those lines there and delete. And then the other thing I want to get rid of, and I don't care for these, are the colons. So I just come in here, and where I saw name and email, I just deleted the colons out. Click Update Settings, and view my website again. So there I am, my opt-in crusher is set up, and now anybody who comes and types in their name and email address and clicks subscribe will be subscribed to my Get Response newsletter. So that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.